Welcome back into another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for coming back, guys. I really do appreciate it. And now in this video, I want to go ahead and focus on our number one cornerback, RDB, Patrick Peterson. One of the best players we have drafted in the Arizona Cardinal organization. I wanted to talk about what his future with the Arizona Cardinals is going to be. We have some different options to go ahead and dissect and talk about. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. Welcome back in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, I wanted to go ahead and take some time on this video and make a video about Patrick Peterson and, and what are the different options that we can do with our, you know, our number one cornerback that we have. Now, I want to go ahead and just take this back just a little bit back in 2019. Everybody knows that he ended up getting suspended for the first six games of that 2019 season. When he ended up coming back, it definitely seemed like he wasn't in football shape. So I told everybody, let's calm down. Let's take a look to see what happens with Patrick Peterson. And now towards the end of the 2019 season, I did feel like he got better than he was when he came back from suspension. Uh, but it was obvious that he seemed like he still has lost a step. 2020 comes around and he kind of still plays like the end of 2019, which is still a very, very good cornerback, but not great like he used to be. Patrick Peterson used to be a shutdown cornerback that took care of any number one wide receiver. There was a team that had a number one wide receiver. You put Patrick Peterson on him and we didn't have to worry about, you know, getting a big, long, deep threat. Patrick Peterson had it shut down. I think the biggest reason as to like why he is not the same is the obvious reason here is because father time has the best out of everybody. You can definitely be, you know, physical top shape still but you just slow down when you get older and I think that's one of the biggest reasons that you know Patrick Peterson is looking the way he's looking right now a couple different things that we can do with Patrick Peterson here now being that he is in his last year in his contract and there's been no talks of you know extension from the Arizona Cardinal organization that kind of leaves me a, a, a little cause for concern now there's a lot of people you know throughout the entirety of the season saying that Patrick Peterson has lost a step he's not the same let him go um all of that different stuff I've heard it all in the comments below there's a lot of people that DM me and they also give me their opinion you know that way so here's the truth of the matter yes I understand that Patrick Peterson has lost a step he's getting up there in age now as of right now it happens to every single player out there father time gets the best out of everybody and Patrick Peterson is no different now do I still think he's a great cornerback a shutdown cornerback Absolutely not. But I still think that Patrick Peterson is a good cornerback. And also, he's still a, enough of a big enough name to, to kind of really get attention drawn to him specifically. The one option we have here for the Arizona Cardinal organization is that we can tag him. We can go ahead and do a franchise tag, get him for one more year, and we can go ahead and figure out what we can do the, the year after. And then there's the other option here. The other option is to give him a multi-year deal, which honestly, I do not see this happening for the Arizona Cardinals, especially because he is getting up there in age um, for a DB and he's definitely obviously lost a step. I don't see Patrick Peterson getting a multi-year deal from the Arizona Cardinals. Now I can see him get a multi-year deal from a different team that might value him a lot more, especially because, you know, the DB position, um, this coming free agency market, it doesn't look very, very good at this point. So I can definitely see a team maybe like the Packers, maybe like the, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, somebody like that that needs to get a cornerback that's going to be a reliable reliable cornerback for them and that it's a Super Bowl contender too. Now I know there's a lot of people saying that next year is going to be the Arizona Cardinals year where Super Bowl contenders would if that ends up happening then perfect then you know Michael Bidwell and Steve Kime need to talk about it and say hey let's really evaluate Patrick Peterson and what we need to do from here but this is the second option here. The second option is Cardinals doing a multi-year deal with Patrick Peterson. I absolutely don't see this happening at all especially because you know now that the cap room and the cap salary cap has been dropped a little bit, or it's going to drop a little bit in my personal opinion, it's a projection. So keep that in mind. No news out there that's saying that the salary cap will go down. But in my personal opinion, because a lot of revenue with all the fans that are not, you know, in the stadiums that are not be there, I could only assume that the salary cap will go down um, just a bit. I mean, 10 million, 15 million, who knows, uh, maybe under 10 million. That number is going to be given to us later on. Now, here's the last and final option. The last and final option is going to be letting Patrick Peterson walk. Now, that's going to be one that's going to kind of punch me in the gut. Now, I've been also one of those guys that's saying, yeah, he's definitely lost a step. Patrick Peterson, what are you doing? What is happening? You're getting burned. 
I've been that guy. I'm not going to lie to you, especially when I'm watching the games on Sundays. It's really easy to, to kind of play the name game. Now, these guys are professional athletes. They get paid at the highest level to produce on a football field. Now, Patrick Peterson specifically, this guy, he's still good at his job. Is he great? No, he's not. And, and, and it's obvious. We see these games day in and day out every single Sunday. It's obvious that, that he doesn't run as fast. Um, and, and it's honestly, I would actually say DB is probably one of the hardest positions to play in the NFL. Because honestly, I don't even know all the rules and what's happening. What's a what's a PI? What's a illegal contact? What's a holding call? It kind of seems like the refs are kind of making it on the fly or, or one little thing one little movement can really change what type of call is given to the DBs. Especially if you're a big name like Patrick Peterson, you're most likely going to be shadowing the number one wide receiver of the opposite team. But that comes a lot of divaness within wide receivers. So let's be honest here. Wide receivers, especially the star names, are they're, they're divas. So a lot of times when they feel like they're not getting the calls, they're going to be complaining to the refs that it was a PI, uh, holding call, whatever the situation might be. So I do think that DB is probably one of the hardest positions to play on the defensive side of the ball. So there's that option. The Cardinals decide to move on from Patrick Peterson and we're kind of left and stuck with the DBs that we have, which is going to be Byron Murphy, which let's be honest here, most of the time we've seen Byron Murphy play, he's been playing in the slot. Now, can he move to the outside? Yeah, he can definitely do that. But it's really depending on Vance Joseph or whoever defensive coordinator is available next year to find out, hey, are you ready for the outside? And, and can you cover the number one, the number two wide receiver of the opposing team? We have Dre Kirkpatrick, and then we also have Prince of Mucamera, and we also have Jonathan Joseph. Now, those three players on its own, I don't see them coming back next year, in my personal opinion. Prince of Mucamera, I honestly thought we would have seen him at least once or twice already, but we haven't. It seems like we're rolling with Drake Kirkpatrick for the most part, and we're seeing a little bit of Jonathan Joseph, which is kind of cool to, to kind of get a little bit, you know, different look. So that's pretty awesome. But getting rid of Patrick Peterson or letting him walk to go to another team for more money is going to hurt us a lot more than we think. So let's say, for example, that we do end up going the route of getting a young, great uh, DB in the draft, in this 2020 draft. It's going to take a while for them to develop. The first year is going to be trial and error. They're going to have to learn the, the speed. They're going to have to learn the, the movement, the play calls um, of all the different flags that they're going to be seeing. They're going to go through a rookie wall, pretty much. They need to learn the ins and outs of the NFL. So they're not going to be as productive as everybody wants them to be like you know number one db out there it, it's really hard to find this is what i think the arizona cardinals should do i think that they should take the approach of option number one i think we should franchise tag patrick peterson give him one more year as an arizona cardinal db i still think that he's good i still think that he's sustainable to to cover the number one cornerback for now and then we can look into getting a young awesome cornerback in the 2021 draft now whether you want to use your first round pick on him or you want to use your second round pick on him i think it's super super important to go ahead and get a cornerback whether the first round or the second round um, i think it's important obviously we have byron murphy He's more of a slot type cornerback at this very moment as to what I've been seeing. You're going to ask me here, like, what young DB do I want at this point? There's there's a few out there right now, but I have not done a lot of homework to kind of give you like one or two of my top, you know, top DBs out there. Now, let's be honest here. If the Arizona Cardinals do go to the playoffs, we're not going to be picking until like the the 20th pick, the 23rd pick, somewhere around that spot. I don't think we're going to go to the Super Bowl. We might get knocked off if we do go to the playoffs in the first round, but I think that we could probably pick around 22nd, 23rd, somewhere around that time frame. So it's really kind of hard to see who's going to be available for the Arizona Cardinals there. So I will be giving you like my top five DBs as to like who I want the Arizona Cardinals to target later on more into maybe the off season once we're kind of done with playoffs and all that different stuff. But I think it's very, very important question to figure out what we're going to do with Patrick Peterson. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think the Arizona Cardinals should do? The GM hat is on you guys right here. So let me know if you guys think option one, option two, or option three. It definitely make sure you put it on the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and if you're new please consider subscribing to the az sports fan on youtube guys all right that's all i got for this episode thank you so very much for watching and i'm out thank you